Welcome back. We're continuing severe weather awareness week this morning with flooding. Each year we get more deaths due to flooding than any other thunderstorm hazard. That includes tornadoes. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is important. Flooding could be more widespread. It could be more deadly. And uh, we've got to talk about it as we continue through severe weather awareness week. So I thought it'd be fun to test Joe and Lauren's knowledge, and you guys can test your knowledge at home with some trivia. You ready? Bring it. Yeah, ready? Yeah. See if you're smarter than we are. Let's try it out. You might be. So first question here. According to the CDC, which of the following activity accounts for the most flood-related deaths? Is it driving, walking, or none of the above? Um, you know, based on, we actually had a news story not too long ago that we were following an unfortunate situation out of Arkansas, that couple um, mm. that was driving when they got swept away by flood water. So I'm going to go with A. Yeah, I think driving as well. Uh, that story resonates, but then also we've, do we've talked about this a lot. It, it's, it's a risk. Yes, um, and it is driving. Most over half of these flood threats happen um, because people drive into flood waters, and that's why we've got that mantra: turn around, don't drown. That's of course. that's the reason for it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's talk about how much water, right? So, how many inches of water can knock over an adult? Is it six inches? Is it twelve inches? Eight inches? Or twenty-four inches? Eighteen, not eight, right? Eighteen. Did okay. I say eight? You said eight. Um, I'm well, going to go with a foot. A foot? Um, let's so say. B. I'll say C. Why not? It is only six inches of water. Oh. That is it. Wow. Six inches can knock over an adult. Yeah. Right? So kids have these rulers every day, just half of that, right? So just six inches. I mean, that's just past your ankle a little bit, yeah. Right. So now yeah. what about a car, right? So how many inches of water can sweep away oh. your car? Same options 6, 12, 18, or 24 inches. Ooh. That one's 12, right? They, uh, I'm going to say same. I'm going to try again. Yeah, yes. we hear that on your forecast uh, with Beth and Jamie as well when they're talking about that. It is yeah. 12 inches. Can take most cars 24 inches if you've got a truck or an SUV. So people who have the pickup trucks and think ah, this can handle anything, mm -hmm. no, only that's it. Just this one ruler yeah. of water can you can't always take something. Do like the off-roading. You point, yeah, and you pointed out anytime you see some water there, don't just don't think, oh, I can just roll right through that. It's hard to see how deep it is most yeah. times too. Yeah. So that's why we say these are the the tips that I show all the time. Mm -hmm. Never drive into a flooded roadway. Don't walk or swim and play in flood water because oh. again, it's hard to see how deep it is, and it only takes a little bit to do some of that damage. During a flash flood warning, you should A, get to the basement, B, stay away from windows, C, get to higher ground, or D, get in your car. It's definitely not D. Yeah, definitely just not. Learned that. Definitely not A. Yay. I'm going to say C, I'm higher say ground. I'm going to say C, higher yeah. ground, right? Yes, yeah. higher ground in that flash flood warning, um, especially if you live in a low-lying area or a flood-prone area and evacuate if you're told to do so. Being we were talking about a warning, I figured we'd brush up. Remember, a watch means that those conditions are favorable for that hazardous weather, whether it be floods or tornadoes. So have a plan and get ready to go because then when the warning is issued, then that danger is occurring right now and we need to take action. So that's when you okay. get into the basement if it's a tornado wow. or get to higher ground if it is a flood. All right. Okay, this one is pretty fun. Uh, just <laughs> last year, we broke a new 24 hour rain record for the U.S., brand mm. new from 2018. Mm. Okay. okay. Where was this? Well, this is what you have to figure oh, out. Oh, okay. What was it? Was it about 12 inches of rain in Baton Rouge, Louisiana? Was it about 22 inches of rain in Houston, Texas? Was it 43 inches in Alvin, Texas? Or was it 49 inches in Kauai, Hawaii? Oh, Houston did have a bunch of flooding. Was that last year, though? I thought that was 17. Yeah. Uh, uh, how about uh, Alvin, Texas? Um, no. That, oh, sorry. I didn't, That's give, okay. I didn't give you a That's chance. That's okay. I wouldn't have gotten that right. Um, yeah, so yeah. Hawaii, the previous rain record was 43 inches in Alvin, Texas. Wow. That was from Tropical Storm Claudette. But they got, that's over two feet of rain yeah. in 24 hours. Incredible there. Last question. So much. Record snow melt and 20 inches of rain led to record crest of 61 feet in the Ohio and the Mississippi rivers in 2011, right here in southeast so, Missouri. How much in damages? Right. So how much was that cost in damages? 100 million, 200 million, 250 C. million or 300? I'm going to say D, a lot. It was a lot. Ah. And and that again just goes to show how widespread and how damaging uh, these flood waters can be. So you always want to uh, keep that in mind again uh, flooding the deadliest of our thunderstorm hazards. All right. Okay. Elisa Rafa keeping us weather aware. Daybreak and 10 is up next everyone. Stay with us.